Well, the minority in the Tobago House of Assembly wants answers about a vessel the THA is giving to the fish processing company of Trinidad and Tobago. The capital of paradise is intended to support the development of a Tobago-based commercial fishing industry. But Minority Councillor Faith B. Israel says the vessel is dry docked in Suriname and no reason has been given for this. Is the vessel? Who is captain in the vessel? What is going to be the cost of this dry docking exercise? The entire cost, not just the cost at the company where it's going to be dry docked, but the cost for everything to get it there and back. What is the estimated wait time? When do we expect it back? And how will this affect all of the activities associated with this particular vessel? Councillor Israel said that there was a significant discrepancy in the management of the vessel. The captain who would be taking the vessel to Suriname tomorrow is not a Tobagonian captain. And I understand and I need to be corrected that that captain is going to be paid about 10,000 US to make the journey. There would be two other officers who are Tobagonians on the vessel and they would be paid significantly less than the captain. And the number that I am hearing is closer to 6,000 TT dollars. She is also seeking answers from the Executive Council of the THA about the fair value of payment for members on board the vessel.